we found snow. Our day just started sucking. Doing a little bit of ice hacking. Time. I'm Sam. Shannon. And we're the Hiking Heimans. This is Radar. She's not really a hiker. She kind of hates it. <laughs> but we force her to love it. Yeah, we do. Oh, thank you for the kisses. They're so good. Fun facts about the trail. The Northern Loop is considered one of the harder trails to do in the Mount Rainier National Forest, which we did not know going into. We ascended and descended 11,000 feet, 42 miles, I think the whole trail system is. We started the hike Monday at around 2.33 o'clock. We got back to the car Thursday at 2.34. So we did the whole 40 miles in 72 hours. Pretty awesome, I can't, I can't believe we actually finished it. I mean, it was, it was painful <coughs> and the second day was miserable third day we were hurting very very badly from the second day and we pretty much had to go up and down three mountains on the third day and the fourth day was pretty easy pretty much just walked downhill for the most part uh did 13 miles and we killed it we did it in i think a total eight hours and that was the day that i fell she trusted a wet rock and i literally said in my mind i can't believe i haven't fallen yet and then right after that i fell she had sweet bruise then we thought I busted my bladder, my platypus. I really just came unscrewed, but everything in my bag was wet after that. When we first started walking, it was six miles to the Carbon River. Um, and then it was about a mile until we hit the base of Channelous Mountain. From there up, it was probably two to three miles of those switchbacks. According to Google Maps, it was like 38 switchbacks. The map wasn't accurate at all. Yeah. None of the signs were right. Yeah, none of the trails were marked. We went up almost 4,000 feet in a matter of like two miles. I mean, that's almost a 45 degree angle. With 50 pounds on your back, it's not fun. The first day was not fun. Second day was not fun. None of the days were fun, but it was gorgeous. We had a blast. <laughs> the first day that we went, we were supposed to actually go at seven o'clock in the morning, but I got a stomach bug from my sister's kids and we didn't end up leaving until Noon, got there, one spent an hour with the park ranger trying to figure out our campsites because their computer system crashed and it was first come first serve. So it took us probably 45 minutes. To... Basically every place we wanted to stay was booked. So we had to make our days longer or shorter depending on the availability for the other campsites. Yeah. When we started out walking, we got to like the base of Channelis at, I'm not sure what time it's on the video, but we walked up those switchbacks and I swear to God, they were never ending. I seriously would look, find a point on the trail and be like, you can make it to that point. And then we would, and then we would break. We were only walking, maybe, maybe. not even a minute, I don't think, yeah. we would take a break. I, mean, I was also carrying two liters of water for like a total of four liters of water. Five. Oh yeah, five liters of water. Two extra for, I don't know why. I don't know why. Whatever. The first day was, was not fun. We thought it was going to be the hardest. It was not. It was actually pretty easy compared to the second day. But uh, yeah, we finally got to camp at 10 o'clock at night. I mean, it was pitch black. We set up tent. So we were just very miserable that first day. And we were <coughs> cold and wet from sweat. It was so hot, too. We're off. Hello. I caught whatever the kids had. It's been a rough day. It's noon. We were supposed to leave at 7. I want to get back to bed. Made it. It's 2.30. 2.30. And we get to go... 10 miles. 10 miles tonight. And then, how many tomorrow? Almost 15. And then, like another 15. <laughs> and then, I think 8. I don't know. I'm not doing math right now. But uh, we get to do some cross-country camping is what they call it and we got a lovely bear box that's the size of a small suitcase that shannon was so nice to take so don't have to hang bear bags now which they lent to us every campsite was full so let's on see the if, southern part of the loop so it was either we hike in two nights and then we hike back out and we weren't doing it so we get to go hide from everybody and that's pretty much how she said it and if we get spotted by the rangers we're going to get yelled at even though we're, we're supposed to be camping there or a tent green. It is. It is. In fact, just blend in. It is in fact green. Okay. See ya. We're six miles in, something like that. On the Wonderland Trail. On the Wonderland Trail. We're making our way to the northern loop. Uh, yeah. I 
Carbon River? Yeah. Carbon River. And you can see where this mountain is. And there's Shaniqua. Hey. We'll be at camp in two, two hours. Huh? Two hours. Yeah, two, two hours. hours. I can finally eat food again, so that's a plus. We just walked up a mountain. It's not fun. Not fun. No. And then right before the mountain, <laughs> we saw nine snakes. I think. A family of snakes. <laughs> yeah, a den of snakes. Luckily, there were only garter snakes. Everywhere. Yeah. Only, I think, three miles left. We haven't even gone two miles. We haven't even gone two miles. So there's still at least three to four. The total was five and a half miles. Awesome. And apparently this wasn't even the hard part yet for this hike. I'm ready to die. Shannon's gonna have to drag me. What? And down we go. been hiking for uh, about four hours three hours three and a half hours and uh, we've been wondering when we're finally gonna get around to seeing it there's part of Mount Rainier Damn. and all that water that's around us that's coming from the glacier up top I'm not tired anymore Glacier water. see it. Yeah, it's gorgeous though. And I'm pretty sure we have to go like up here. Ah! Hiking in the dark. So much fun. Gotta love switchbacks. I hate switchbacks. Switchbacks, switchbacks, switchbacks. We've walked a lot. We should have counted the switchbacks so far. Yeah. According to my Fitbit, I've done about 170 floors so far. And we're still not done. We don't even know when it ends. The signs aren't right. <laughs> no, yeah, the mileage on the signs is not right. So, like, the, our map says one thing and our and the signs say another, so we don't know. Yeah. I'm ready for bed. More switchbacks. More switchbacks. 
and more switch bags. Hey, it goes up that way. We're never gonna get to the top. Day one recap. We got sick. Uh, we didn't get out there until about one to the ranger station. We started hiking around 2.33 o'clock. We made it up Chenoweth Mountain to our campsite around 10 o'clock. And we didn't really get sleep until probably 11 or 11.30. That's the end of day one. Stay tuned for more adventures. And remember, never trust a wet rock. <laughs> yes. Take me home.